Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I'm going to be unboxing a $5,000 Origin PC with this glorious, glorious chainsaw. It's going to be messy, it's going to be fun, and as per FTC requirements, this video is sponsored by Origin. So for some reason there was no PC in here, I'm beginning to think that Origin PC, instead of sending me a $5,000 monster, went to the thrift store and uh, filled this full of crap. So we're going to hit it one more time with the chainsaw. <laughs> So obviously I didn't unbox this with a chainsaw, but I'm gonna give it a quick cut with a knife and we're about to start the real unboxing of a $5,000 Origin PC. And let's, oh my God, it's a dog! They didn't send me a computer at all, I got a dog. How did they feed him during transit? You monsters, I'm calling PETA! You poor thing. I'm gonna add you to my dog collection. So at this point, you've been double clickbaited. We would never ship a dog. Origin would never hurt dogs. They're friends of animals. And it's time to finally unbox the PC for real with no more nonsense. And the best way to do that is with a power saw. There we go. Let's get it, uh, let's cut the top off. That ought to be a good way to do it. Two hands on this one. Perfect. Go. Uh, it's not quite open yet. We gotta give it a little bit more sawing. Perfect. What did they ship? Nothing. I wouldn't unbox a computer like this because I'm not a moron. Okay, so now that you've been triple click mated, 
Let's unbox the actual PC. Let's actually do that. I've been having a little bit of fun here because YouTube is pretty much all clickbait these days, so if I don't do something, nobody will watch. Let's do the actual unboxing now, okay? You want to be in the video? Dude, mm -hmm. this is the Origin PC, bro. So at this point, you've been triple clickbaited by other nonsense, but we are going to unbox this. Of course, I filmed this part first, and the other things were last. But let's actually unbox the big Origin PC and remind Ozzy what a good boy he is. Are you a good boy? Are you a good, you're a good boy. We're gonna go ahead and remove the little bit of tape from the top. And remember kids, never ask your parents before you use a knife. Just get them out and start juggling them. It's official advice. Ooh, got a lot of stuff in here. And you've probably by now noticed the other boxes in the corner. I got me a big beefy Asus monitor, which we'll get to in a little bit. And Echo Gear. Echo Gear was also nice enough to send me some super high quality monitor mounts. So you'll see those in the setup video later as well. But let's see what we've got in the Origin PC box. Looks like we have an Origin PC t-shirt, which, you know what, I probably should have opened this before so I could like wear that t-shirt on the unboxing. That would have made sense, but hey. Okay, let's see what this part is. What is in here? Ooh. Okay, there's a ton of cables and back panel plates, cable mod coupons, more cabling. This is a remote control, oh, this is a remote control. This will be for all of the LEDs. So I can just, uh, I can just control all the LEDs inside with this thing. And what else is in here? DIY guide, Origin, there's a flash drive with, oh, here's good, this is gonna be on my recovery software right here. Hmm. Is this more RAM? What did they put in here? Okay, well we'll get to you later, very complicated cable box. Yeah, so now we're gonna try to get to the actual PC part of this. So we're gonna pull this out. Very, very tight packaging. Because we don't want our PC to slip and fall and break. That would be very, very, the PC apparently is covered in felt. And there's, um, ooh, hold up. Got a, Evega, they'll be doing the graphics card. And we have a metric ton of cabling, which is good. Always save these bags. Let me see if I can actually get it out. I gotta get, that's, nope. I gotta get a hand on it. Ooh. Okay, it's heavy, it's super heavy. That is super heavy. Now that we've got the PC out of the box, you can see it's covered in this sort of spandex mesh-like fabric. So what I'm gonna do is try and peel this off and reveal the custom power in a nice, beautiful manner, nice and cinematic. Though the secret to taking off any fabric, as I've learned from watching lots and lots of videos, is you have to tease it a little bit. You have to get the bottom just a little bit and then pull the top part out nice and slow. So you get the big reveal and poof! What does it look like? I've never seen it before. Oh my God, it's a beauty. That is an actual beauty. That is my logo right there on the tower. It's looking fantastic. Can't wait to turn this thing on. Let me go ahead and turn it sideways so you guys can see the other side. The other side has a lot of packaging material though. Remember, when you do lift something heavy, use your legs as much as possible. Try not to do back only because potatoes do back only. Here's the front and the side, which isn't looking at its maximum beauty right now because we've got the internal packaging. This keeps all the parts from moving or getting damaged during shipping. But we do have the Drifter logo, if we can get close on that one, right here. We got a dog in the way again. You can see the good old Drifter logo. We'll probably boot it up in a little bit and show the lighting and stuff. And one fun thing I can do before I take it apart, if you want to stand up and follow me to this side, is you can look at all the ports on the front. Look at that. LED on and off. USB-C, three, reset, power. Looking very, very good up here. So I was wondering where my VR port was because I felt like I was missing a little bit of something. So I decided to give her a little pull and the front opens up. Look at this beast. You've got your 40 in one media reader. So all my various cameras and stuff, more USB threes and an HDMI right on the front. So I can plug in any VR headset, just poof, right there, instantly good to go. And lots of hot swappable racks in the front for any sort of further modification. But this computer is kind of a monster, so that probably won't be necessary. So we got the packaging out, and I was wondering how it is I'm supposed to open this, because if you look carefully, these are really flat and flush knobs, and I was like, what am I supposed to unscrew? I'm so used to old PC towers that I have to unscrew. 
Well, this one just happens to be magnetic, so you can just put your finger in there and pull. Womp, womp, womp. It opens up all nice and easy and smooth. And if you get a look at these internals, these are probably the cleanest, most well-optimized, efficient PC internals I've seen in a super long time. It also came with this nice folder, which I decided to open up. It's like an envelope, like I'm gonna win some sort of award. And it has my entire build on here. So we've got the Millennium Tower. We have the lighting, which will show up later. Down here, hidden away, we have an 850 watt power supply, which is very, very nice. Okay. So we were doing the internals, but Boondi decided to show up, and I'm trying not to like hit him in the face with the glass. Hey, buddy, can you move a little? No, you got slobber on it already. I'm moving you. I'm moving you. Bonk, 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 bonk. He's gonna get hair on the inside of my PC. I'm gonna keep it a little bit more closed because he's just gonna make, make this the whole thing a mess. But let's go over the specs because that's important. Okay, so first things first, we have an 800, we have an EVGA, 850 watt power supply, which you'll see right here on the inside. That's more than enough for anything that I'm gonna do. It is also a Supernova G3 PSU, which is very nice. Up here is probably the heart and soul of the system where you see the origin swirl. This is an Intel Core i9, 7920X. X means extreme processor. This is a big boy. This is, this is the best processor you can get until you start hitting like Xenon workstations. This is a nice Evega NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti, 11 gigabyte. The best you can get single, not double, because NVIDIA is not really supporting SLI very much these days. Underneath it, you see this guy. This is a very unusual one. This one is the Intel Optane. It's a 480 gigabyte PCIe SSID, which is just, it's, it's a strange one, okay? This one, the Optane, changes both of the other hard drives, which we'll talk about in a little bit. It connects directly through PCIe to the processor, and it's kind of like, it's like adding a hard drive directly to your processor. It speeds up the entire computer by approximately 30%. It's an extraordinarily complex thing, so we'll leave it at that. And I did want to give a shout out to Intel because this video is also sponsored and partnered with them and they helped with the Optane and with the beast of a processor. On the sides, you're gonna see 4X 8 gigabyte RAM, so we'll have 32 in total. And I'm gonna go ahead and see we've got the clock speed on that RAM down here. Where is that at? Uh, da, 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 da. DDR4 Vengeance. 3000 megahertz clock speed. Our second dog has decided to show up. Hey buddy, see this one doesn't get in the shot very much, but he's a very, very good boy. Oh, you're a pretty pony. Yes, we like you. Over on the inside, which you probably can't see super well, we have a 500 gigabyte Samsung 860 Evo solid state drive. And below that is a three terabyte Seagate Barracuda drive, which should be 10,000 RPM. It is a monster. This whole rig here is a monster just top to bottom, and I am not done with it yet because I'm gonna be adding Elgato's and a few customizations, but that's the unboxing of the PC. It's gonna take me a little bit to optimize my room and build this and put it in, so we're gonna finish this video by showing it in the new room very, very briefly, and then I'll do a follow-up full build video in about a week or two. Hey, so Jessica's filming my temporary setup at the moment. I'm actually live streaming, so when I'm streaming, this is exactly what it looks like. I've got it running in 120 FPS. I've got Shadow Play going. I've got XSplit OBS, all my overlays and everything. I've got this really nice monitor mount from uh, Echo Gear. It's pretty top. It took me a long time to get set up, but it's nice that I can just grab it and move it and just whatever I want. Either monitor works really well. I've kind of got it finally at a nice head height for a tall person like myself. And I'm going to take the camera from my grill real quick and I'll show you the internal lighting live here, hopefully. So we get under here, and you can see that I've got all the wires going in, and you can see the good old 1080 Ti glowing. You can see the RGB lights on the side. Oh, that's a wire, <laughs> doing their things. And you can see the temporary setup that I have going on. This won't last forever. I'm gonna get a much nicer, much cleaner one in the future. But for now, this is what I'm working with. Hey girl, one other thing to talk about, is that there is currently a giveaway going on for these Astro headsets right here. Astro is doing a giveaway, technically A40s and not A50s. But there's an Astro giveaway associated with this unboxing. You'll find the link down there below in the description. It's a pretty straightforward sort of giveaway. It's like follow Origin PC, follow Astro, tweet a tweet, follow me, things like that. So if you want to enter to win, 
some Astro headsets in the giveaway, please check the first link down there below in the description. Also, Ozzy showed up. Hey buddy, are you a good boy? Are you a smart Shiba? Or are you a bad boy? Oh, you're a petting boy is what you are. Can I smoosh your face? Smoosh. You're a rabbit boy? Huh? You do a fat face? Boy! <laughs> He's a good boy. You're a good dog. I give you good pets. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Good pets. All right, guys. Well, that is it for the PC unboxing and for the dog handling video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something nice about Origin PC. They're going to be powering all of my productions here in the future with this glorious, glorious monster that Ozzy, you're getting dog hair all over. But you're still a good boy. And if you want to check out Origin for yourself, there's a link to their store down there below in the description somewhere. And there's also a setup video coming in the future because I'm going to take this whole thing and make it more like presentable and beautiful, you know. And I guess that's it. Drifter out.